Hello Outcast and other viewers and welcome to Battlefield 4. Today we're going to talk a bit about Battlefield 1 and some of the thoughts I have on the game. First things first, when the first time I heard about Battlefield 1 and the rumors of it maybe being in World War 1, I was actually a bit disappointed. Reasons being that I've played some early access games on Steam and some other games that are set in World War I, but are probably not handled in a good way. You're just sitting in a trench, waiting for somebody to blow a flute, and then run across and get shot in the face, and then die. When I saw the trailer for Battlefield 1 at the EA reveal stuff, whatever the hell it was, the reveal event for Battlefield 1, I was really surprised about how it looked. I was like, wow, man, this looks really cool. And it looks like they actually have a lot of possibilities. And I didn't even think about that, like the battleships, the aerial combat, the tanks, the trenches, the weapons. There's so many things that can be really cool, as long as DICE produces this really well. And as I think, they will make it really well. And the trailer, though, it was not gameplay, but it was in-engine game footage. Or in-engine footage, I think it was. So basically, like, just showing what the engine is capable of doing. And probably most of that trailer, or a lot of it, is probably the single-player aspect of it. Uh, at least, you know, some of the IDs you could get from what you would play in the single-player, or in the multiplayer, you know, what kind of epic feel, how the battle would rage on around you while you just, like, running around being like, oh my god, the scenery is amazing. One thing that is really good is that when DICE started making games, uh, at least, well, they have started a long time ago, but what I'm trying to say here is I'm glad they made Battlefront before Battlefield. Because making Battlefront sort of made them being able to develop this amazing technology to make every graphical aspect look amazing. Like, if you go on Launch Battlefront right now and you're on PC and you put your graphics to maximum and you're able to run it and you put them to low, try to look for the difference. It's not very, it's not very easy to see because DICE have done such a good job at making good graphics and that's why I think Battlefield 1 is going to be really epic. One thing that is concerning me though is the melee combat. They did talk about how you could have different stats on weapons that were, you know, somebody hit faster, somebody hits harder, but they're slower. Like, how are they going to make that work? Because the current knife system in Battlefield, uh, at least what I've seen, is basically if you're in front of someone, you can counter knife it, or they could counter knife it. But if you're behind someone, it's an insta kill with this animation. So, in Battlefield 1, are they going to do a chivalry, maybe? Like, you know, you could block, and I don't know, because what I've heard is that if you do a bayonet charge, you will charge until you run out of stamina or you hit something. And that's basically how that charge is going to end. So I'm I'm really curious to see how this plays out. And it's not too long till we get to see the gameplay stuff, hopefully. And those YouTubers that have already played the game, god damn, I'm so jealous of those. Really jealous. Anyway, so far uh, my thoughts on this game is really positive, and I've been surprisingly, you know, uh, happily surprised by this launch and how it looks so far. So yeah, hopefully you like it as well. If you like this video, put a like on it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Suggest so add this video to everybody you know. And if you're also excited for Battlefield, then be sure to let me know. What do you think about this new game? What are you thinking about it? Anyways, I'm Hurricane Turtle, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.